All right, I got all the parts cleaning. You can hear the ultrasonic in the background. Let's take a look at the underframe. Uh, as I feared, if you can see the little cracking here, that's not paint. It's in the inside. It's all over. That is a problem with these zinc alloy castings. Not only that, this thing isn't straight either. It's bent. The front end's bent up. And, so if this thing wasn't in this condition, all I would do is mill out. Because this, this motor is some kind of a 180. That means it's a size 1, a length 8. Now, length 8, is it's just a number. It doesn't... It may mean certain, like millimeters or whatever, but it's just length 8. This 280 is size 2, but also length 8. So, this cavity here is for a size 8. Now, I want to set this on its side. And, and I don't have a choice on doing that, because when this sits in here, Okay, it's sitting on the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to put it in sideways like I like. As I discovered, putting these in on the flat side down, it, it does something for their sound. So, to get it in there, all I need to do is mill out the inside of here a little bit. Problem. Right here. It's already broke off and disappeared. That means this stuff is super brittle. And I'm not exactly sure how we're going to deal with that yet. Um, we're gonna, and we have to do some grinding on this. we got to grind these corners. And we're probably going to mill off a bit on the end so that this thing sits in there properly. Well, we're going to go ahead We would polish all this. Smooth it. All the jagged edges will be gone, and then make it fit again. And we got to we got to make it true, because it is right now. It is bent. Front end is bent up a little bit. So that's what we got to do. We got to we got to figure out some way, and we got to be careful. Because remember what happened over here? That's what happens. It turns to crap. And we tried JB Weld on this, and JB Weld is stronger than the casting. And there was nothing of strength for the JB Weld to grab onto. It, you know, I get it on, and then it it would set up, and then it would just crumble off. The next, you know, the next section of the casting would just crumble kind of a problem. We're going to see what we can do with this. I don't know what we can do with it yet. Maybe. I mean, what would be cool, I've seen guys do this in other videos of metalworking, that they will make a JB Weld surface on things and then polish it to match the steel where they were doing some welding and, and metalworking. It'd be cool if that worked on here. Would that work with something like this? I don't know. We're going to try something. And let's see if we can get it straightened out without wrecking it. Let's see if we can get this milled out without wrecking it. We'll see what happens on the milling machine, how bad this stuff is. Okay, as I feared, right off the bat, get in the milling machine right there. It's cracked all the way down to here. At least, if not more. It's not looking good. So, we're going to give it a shot here. And we'll see what happens. Okay, just trying to face the top. And a little bit already, this whole side here, it's going to come out. I, It's already split all the way to the bottom. As I went by facing chunks started coming off. It's going to be a bad one. 
Well, I didn't even get to start milling because the thing just fell apart. Just like that. That's not good. This thing has no strength to it. So when I, oh, I lost that piece too. Oh, this thing's falling apart all over the place. Oh, we're going to lose. Oh, really? <clears throat> I lost this piece. Alright, let me figure out something here, and then I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, it's been now uh, 30 seconds, and just when you think it couldn't get worse, this section just plain fell out. Alright. These, I, I'd like to keep these because they've already got the wheel wells perfect. And everything is it possible to make one out of aluminum yes in fact this one would be way easier than the one that we did before but maybe just maybe we could do something let's do something different let me see if we can do something that that any anyone can do so i have an idea these before these pieces crumble into nothing, they can't be glued back together with anything. Because JB Ball will grab onto here. And sure it would bond it, but whatever we, wherever we attach it is still so weak it would just break off at that point then. So what I want to do is I want to use this bottom piece here as a guide. Okay, there's two ways we could go on this. One, I could make an aluminum piece to go in there. But, I have another idea. I bought, I bought a bunch of old lead wheel weights off eBay. And there's some big ones in there. And lead can be shaped a little bit with the ball peen hammer. If I could make... A piece of lead was the right width, right width, right length. I could put that in there, and that I would JB weld in there. But that's an example of pest right there. It's it's not good. That's, uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna find some lead. Yeah, I'm gonna find the biggest chunk. That I, that I got in there, I'm going to see if I can't create a span of this length and that width. Then we JB weld that in. Then it'd be perfect because the motor fits down here on this side, and then it's got to fit right here on this side so the flywheel can go right there. So we're going to keep this little, we're going to keep this little tiny flywheel since these are both motors of length eight the flywheel here means well, it's like like uh, having a u-joint of the correct length so that's where i'm trying to get some lead in there see what i can make well earlier i was working on the lead center section and i was working on smoothing the sides so it would fit in the shell without pulling it apart as it's already done here I use the grinder a little bit use the buffing wheel a little bit then I thought well let's go ahead and run the fly cutter across it and it disintegrated so in my preparation oh yeah it disintegrated not only that check this out knocked out this which came out in crumbs super glued and baking soda it I thought I was on to something by coating it with super glue and baking soda 
which makes an extremely hard polymer. I thought we had a winning solution, and then the whole thing came apart. So, in my preparations for Harry Carey, it came to me. It is possible to synthesize bromide in an argon matrix. In solid, not gaseous form. And because it is an eczema, I expect to extract one megajoule per liter in a aluminum fabrication situation. We have done this before. We can do it again. So, let's go ahead, lay it out, cut off our piece, and get to work on it.